Let's talk about that growing nest egg, shall we? Hey there, welcome back to my channel. It's another day of me interviewing one of my colleagues. This is John Mullet with me today. Welcome, John. Hi, Liz. Thank you. Now, John at Pleasant Wealth is our resident 401k expert. And so that's one of the main pieces of his role at Pleasant Wealth, helping run our 401k. Safe to say or? Sure. Yes. Yeah. A lot of retirement plans. Yep. And also individual accounts as well, retail investors. But I wanted to pick his brain today on this channel to ask how we can better build our 401ks. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for a regular pleasant financial conversation. All right, John. 401ks, they are that beautiful nest egg that we like to build to really secure our retirement. It's the main nest egg people have, the 401k with their employer. So let's talk about your main tips for saving as much as you can within that. First of all, start and then yeah. make sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hardest thing to do, actually. Uh, right. Unless. Well unless you're in a plan that has auto enrollment. Sorry, I totally shouldn't have cut, kept you on, on that. <laughs> uh, because that's the hardest thing to do, humanly speaking, uh, is just take the time to do it. Make sure that you're saving enough to get the full free match, whatever the match is, get the full match, so you get all the free money, I should say, um, to help amplify your efforts. Um, and then a good target is that between what your contribution and the, and the company match, that your uh, a good target percentage is in the 12 to 15 percent of income. That's good. So let's break those down. You got three of the points for us. You need to start. You need to actually buckle down yep. and do it. Yep. You need to try to get as much free money as, from the company as possible. Yep. And then number three, eventually you want to get up to that 12 to 15 percent savings rate. Yep. So starting. Why don't people start? That seems like an easy thing for us, right? Tell us why human nature works against us for just starting. We're busy, we're chasing the urgent things or, or addressing the urgent things in life and the important things often are not screaming for our attention, uh, so they, we, we tend to neglect them. Yeah, and I think oftentimes when people are stepping into a new business, or at least at the beginning of their career, they're thinking like, retirement's way far off, I don't really need to do this. It doesn't feel urgent at all. It might not even feel important at that age, but we know yes. that the earlier you begin, the better. So if you've been waiting for the sign, this is it. Go ahead and start that 401k contribution right now. We'll wait. So why did you say that there's free money from a company? So in these plans, often a company is offering a match, um, helping their employees build equity. Uh, something they can take with them when they leave the company later, whether it's in retirement or to go to another job, uh, you have something to take with you. And for every dollar that you contribute, the company will usually match that with a percentage. Um, sometimes it's dollar for dollar, but the main thing is that you know what that match and that formula is and that you are maximizing your contributions to get the full math. Right, because if you don't end up contributing, you're leaving that extra money sitting on the table that the company said, hey, you can have yes. this, you just have to take your retirement seriously and start putting money towards it. So get that free money, that's what we always say. We've talked about it before on this channel. Some of the experts within financial planning say, get your savings up to 12 to 15% of income. That way you have enough for retirement and it's an easy place to do it, just tucked inside that 401k. When it's held out of your paycheck, never comes into your checking account. You really don't miss it. You learn to live without it. Um, you really don't even have to adjust to it because you never received it. Absolutely. So. We love those human nature tweaks just to kind of bypass our brain. So as you think about um, best practices as our listeners are uh, managing their own 401k, kind of thinking about what tweaks they can be making over time, what do you see are the best practices that folks can have? Consistency, uh, both in contributing, of course, but then also in investment strategy, uh, consulting with your advisor and picking a strategy that, that works for you, both from an emotional risk tolerance level, but also in a long-term strategy. Picking a strategy and sticking with it. Mm -hmm. uh, when we flip-flop, uh, we tend to start chasing returns, uh, it becomes emotional, or if we're trying to 
time the market, uh, we end up, usually, human behavior ends up so that we are selling low and buying high and, and just, we get the timing off. Yeah, Ellis said it when he was, when I was interviewing him, he said, when we make that switch, we're actually having to time the market twice because we time when we're trying to get out and we time when we're trying to get back in. And that's exactly. a real impossibility. So it's much better to have that consistent approach yes. long-term. Yes. Um, I will never forget, I was taking over a retirement plan and within that retirement plan, there was kind of an ethos of that company that you came in, you met with the advisor and you made tweaks. And so I'd consistent, consistently see people come in and say, this fund isn't doing well, so I'm getting out. And this fund is doing great, so I'm getting in. And then they would meet with me the following quarter and say, this fund isn't doing great, so I'm gonna get out. And this fund is not is doing great, so I'm gonna get in. And what they end up doing is mm -hmm. buying high, selling low, mm -hmm. over and over and over. And that does not get their 401k growing the way that they need to for retirement. That's very detrimental. Yes. All right. Well, thank you for those tips today on the 401k for you. I hope that's helpful as you are building that retirement nest egg. Here at Pleasant Wealth, we focus on pleasant financial conversations for people as they are stepping towards retirement. And if that's a conversation you need to begin because you are getting ready to make some of those retirement decisions, reach out to us. Go to our website, www.pleasantwealth.com to set a meeting. And until next time, friends, you take care.